Big parcel from Japan with retro Nintendo consoles and today, oh my god, I've been waiting so long for this. Yeah, today we'll be opening it. Oh my god, so I got this sent with FedEx. I mean, I haven't really been waiting that long because I didn't need anything. Wait, did I say retro Nintendo consoles? Because they're not retro, not this time. Or they're pretty, I mean, they're not new, but they're not that old too. So, oh, what? Okay, first one, you know what? Let's start with this to get the excitement up. New 3DS LL, or should I say XL, or should I say LL because it's LL, which is XL in Japanese. No, I have not taken anything before making this video. I'm not a drug addict. I work out every single day. So, uh, yeah, stop commenting that. Wait, what is that? Wow, that is from the, oh, is that the receipt? That's interesting. Move this aside, and it say DSi XL with a game. Yeah, but I'm going to be using the box for a new 3DS XL because I do have a lot of new 3DS XLs here. Yeah, that's good. People want these in that color. Then we have a normal 3DS with a sticker on the back. Should I just remove the sticker now? Yes. Boom. That's gone. I'm gonna have to give that a clean. Let's power it on, see if it works. It powers on, but does it work? Japanese charger, no use for it. I just list on eBay. If I have space in my home, they're basically worthless. Oh, R works. No, L works. R has a problem. I'll have to replace that. Oh, there's a crack in the light here. Mm, that's no good. Yeah, does this come off? Mm, maybe it'll stay. We'll see, we'll see. But it's Japanese and region locked, so it needs to be modded. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. That was the second console. Then we have a DSi. I'm not going to spoil, but I do have some more good things in here than what we've seen. We do have some goodies. I think the DSi is the oldest console that's gonna be in here. So if you expect like old Nintendo consoles, I don't think you're gonna see any. Yeah, DSi, pink. Sometimes I get like messages from like uh, people that wanna buy some console for their like girl or like girls, like daughters. And uh, yeah, they want pink consoles or even girls, just grown women. So, yeah, they buy them. Just for some nostalgia, you know. Yeah, another DSi. Not that yellowed screens. I'll have to test all buttons and everything. And I have to mod them because they're region uh, locked. But, uh, yeah. Oh. <gasps> wow. Okay, 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 okay. So this I'm pretty excited about. Because it is a limited edition. A original limited edition. And I do not get those often. So let's look at this. Okay, so there is some peeling, as you can see there, but Monster Hunter. Inside just looks normal red. No, actually there's a different red. It's not the normal red. Does it make sense? Like it's, it's different. I don't know how to explain it. Let's power it on. Yeah, a little of peeling here, but that looks awesome. No pen. It does this work as it should though? That's the main question. Oh no, the hinge. Wait, is it that bad? Or have I just not held a 3DS in a while? I think it's... I think it's bad. Or worse than they usually are. Yeah, pretty sure this works as it should though. As I said, I have to test, but I don't want to test them too long on camera. Chargers, let's just get those out. Can't use them. I'll have to like put them on eBay or something. Then another DSi. This time in black. I guess we'll see if I get scammed by anything. Like because I nowadays I only buy working consoles unless they're like in a bulk. I don't think I bought anything here in a bulk. In the next next lot that I bought, they're Oh, what the hell? 
There's something wrong with the button here. Maybe it just needs a clean. Yep. Next one. You know what? No, let's do this because this is pretty big. Not sure what this is. I think it's a DSi XL. Yep. Pretty sure it is. Wait, what? What did I say? Yeah, is there any junk lots here? I'm not sure. There might be. There might be. But I'm not 100% sure. This, what the hell is this? Oh my god, I thought that was USB-C. You see that? I thought that was a USB-C in U3DS XL. But no, it's not. It's not. I was just... Ooh, I was about to freak out. Because I have never owned a USB-C console in my life. And with USB-C, I mean modded USB-C. They never... Nintendo never made a USB in U3DS XL, but... I thought maybe a person did it. And those are rare to find. Because, I mean, basically nobody does it. And I don't even do it because, I mean... I, I don't have that much soldering experience. I have like, uh, I had actually a uh, 3DS with a capture card, but the capture, I, I never was able to figure it out. So I just ripped it off the motherboard, the capture card. And yes, I tried to sell it on eBay first because I mean, I wasn't able to get it working. This one is actually already sold if it works as it should because someone bought a white one today and I was pretty sure I had a white one that I would get today. So um, yeah, and I was right. So as long as this one works, I can just ship it out right away. If not, yeah, I'll have to change this thick, but that's fine. If it's not working as it should, then I will have to uh, wait till next week to ship it because I will get another one next week, which I bought today actually. Okay, this three to work. Yep, works really well. Nope, both are TN panels. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, there's a lot of figures here. Yeah, I, I remember when I bought this, there, it had like some things, but yeah, I'll have to factory reset it. I'm sorry, I don't know if this is more valuable, but a customer already bought it, so. And I don't, I don't really understand that any of the extra addable games. So if it's more valuable, I'm sorry, but I will factory reset it. And uh, I'm not planning on shipping it or selling it on eBay because eBay takes such big fees. Like I think it's like 30% or something. And I also have to pay about 30% since I am registered as a business. Yeah, another 3DS with a game. What's the game? Never seen it and it's going in the trash because it's basically trash Come on, you know what no, just to trigger people Let's bend test a game Is it already you know what let's see what's inside I did this last time But I can't remember what was inside if I break my finger or something, that's too bad. Boom. This game is ba basically worthless and I'm not planning on selling it. Yeah, it looks like a Game Boy game. Like, honestly. Oh, I can rip the chip off. Wait, give me a second. Mm. Still a little pads on there. There we go. Rip that off. Boom. Pretty sure nobody... In someone. Okay, someone can save this game, but it's going in the trash. That was just to trigger someone. Yeah, did I check this? Yeah, I, I checked this. Yep. Uh, to trigger someone. It's a Japanese game, okay? It's basically worthless. and It was going in the trash anyways because I don't have space to take, like, to keep them. Okay, 3DS XL needs a new stick. I hope I have some more black ones in here. Yeah, that's one. That's uh Wait, what? Oh no. Oh no. Hmm. 
Look at the top screen. What the hell happened to you? I mean, the bottom screen is easy to replace, but... Shit, I'm worried about the top screen, man. Mm. What happened to you? Oh, my God. Yeah, I most likely bought it as defective. There is no way I bought it as not defective. I think about it like in bulk. I'll try to figure the top screen out, the bottom, or it might be the main board. I've never seen anything like this. But wait, let's open something. Do I have to game to test on? Other than the game I just bend tested. <laughs> Oh, there's a game in here. Oh, I just almost threw out two games. I mean, yeah, they're junk, but still. It's cool to show on camera. Because, like, with games, I don't really care if the 3DS comes with games. The games are worthless for me. Like, yeah, they might look cool to you, but I've done this for so long, and I just know that these games are worthless. Because they're Japanese. Let's put in you. See what happens. Now the top screen looks fine now. Now there's still something wrong with it. I don't get it. Yeah, but the bottom screen I'll try to I guess I'll try to replace the bottom screen. And then see if that solves the top screen. I don't know. I don't know. But I think about it as defective, so it's all right. But if this one's defective, then that makes no sense. Because I did, I bought two working ones. Or no, I bought at least one working one. And one I think I bought in a batch with defectives. So that one makes sense. But if this one's defective, which is, by the way, already sold... And I'm gonna be mad, because that means Sendico scammed me. Oh my god, it looks like new. And it does have a screen protector. Which I will take off right now. Wait, do I see yellowing on the screens? Nope, none. Wait, are these IPS? Wow, yeah, my customer is lucky. Yeah, it's good that they waited about a week. Because these are IPS screens, you guys. Ooh. Yeah, looks awesome. I'll have to... Wait, will I have to? Yeah, I mean, I could have just not replaced the stick, but now I have to replace it. Yeah, cool. This one works fine. I will have to ship that out tomorrow, I guess. Do I have anything more here, like anyone that I have already sold or something? Mm, I don't think so. So this is a dark blue one. Let's open this up. Um, dark blue. I think this one already also was defective. I can't remember how I opened the defective one. Was it defective? Was it in the same packaging? No, I can't remember. Because I think I bought a defective batch. So most likely this one is also defective. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I think there were untested defective or something like that. Okay, that looks promising. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. At least the bottom uh, cover needs to be replaced, but... Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Let's look at the last new 3DS XL in here. Because maybe I was wrong. Maybe this one is the defective one. Or I'll have to check what I even bought. Because it wouldn't make sense. Wait. Is it this one? Oh. Might be, because if I see a lot of peeling, oh, like I do on this one, I immediately think, oh, it might be defective. Wait, what? Is that the reflection of the screen? 
Let's just take off the screen protectors right away because I don't need those. They're scratched up and customers would rather like a clean console, a clean console. Okay. I'm not sure. Has the stick been replaced? Or is it just bloated? No, it's not been replaced. Okay. Hmm. Weird. Not sure I'll have to... <gasps> what? 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 <gasps> oh, I th yeah, I bought this thing for a customer, which uh, changed their mind, like, the last second. Oh, I've actually never seen a screen protector on a 3DS like this. It's like one of those uncrackable screen protectors that you see on TikTok that they put on, put on phone screens. Uncrackable, right? Uncrackable. And why does this not power on? Shoot. That's no good. Uh-oh. Mmm. Okay, that's not good. Mm. Mm. That's not good. Mm. I, I don't think that one was supposed to be defective. Okay, so quick uh, note. Uh, yeah, so thankfully I got this for... Uh, 2,500 yen, which is about, I mean, a little bit more, like $10 more than I pay for one working 3DS. So I got two defective ones for the price of one working one. So if I'm able to fix one of these and probably make a video, then I've got my money back or more than I, I have earned because that's what I get one for, right? So if I get one for that, I, of course, earn money off of selling one. Uh, so yeah, which is great and um, Yeah, so and I get one defect one for parts So thankfully I did not get scammed this time, which is good because I do not want to go through Sendico uh, Sendico because that can be a lot of problems, but yeah cool Or maybe I didn't buy it for the customer because like if I would have bought it for the customer it would be working I, I wouldn't risk buying a defective one and risk that I might be able to fix it because I was already asking for money. Like if they wanted the console, I would pay and then order it. But I, I thought I just paid right away. I guess I was wrong. Or maybe it's the one that was defective. Not sure. Hopefully not. Or hopefully it was the defective one. Yeah, this one. Needs a clean. And there's a little yellowed on the screens. Yeah, that's the parcel. So, another parcel, hopefully, ne next week. I'll have to reuse this bubble wrap to send parcels to save money. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. So, thank you guys for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.